thank you very much for having me here. Thank you to come and hear my talk. Um, we have a very, it's good to see a lot of crowd here. We have a good adoption rate for advanced threat prevention technologies in uh, Spain and uh, the Iberian Island and Europe in general. And it's good to see there's good off, uh, efforts to educate the people. And I'm, I'm sure this uh, uh, talk will help you understand the ease that the attackers are having uh, in, uh, in attacking your organization. As I was introduced, right, my name is Gadi Nave. I work for uh, Checkpoint, which is uh, one of the largest single player in security vendors uh, worldwide. Uh, my, uh, in my position, I research our findings in the field and I make them into content to help educate our customers and our prospects on the security problems they are facing. And uh, this talk is about how you can build your own cybercrime empire in 20 minutes. Uh, and it should help you see how easy it is for the attackers to come and target you and why you should put on uh, your uh, defense. It's, this talk, is, uh, I gave it in, in Bangkok and Vegas in the, starting this year, and it's a bit humoristic and should, it looks to educate the hackers how to control and how the black hats are, uh, um, should, should work in their building their funnel in order to make the infections and start monetizing in the internet. Uh, but as this crowd is different from the white hackers community I usually talk to, I, I'll start with, uh, with a bit of a warning. Okay, so the real uh, work we are seeing is, is about uh, monetizing how hackers are, are trying to gain uh, funds or information to sell, credit card to sell, etc. Um, but eventually, uh, they get caught. Anyone knows this uh, person in the picture? This one uh, is a hacker named uh, Pounch. He was uh, very famous for creating the Black Hole Exploit Kit, which was huge two years ago, three years ago. All the events you would see in your network would be from this exploit kit. It had 10% of infection rate back in the day with JavaScript, uh, Flash technologies, uh, Java, JAR files which it, it successfully created in real time, etc. He got huge sums of funding in the millions, but eventually, as you can see here, he got caught. So uh, please don't uh, use it home. Think of it as educational. We are, as I see it, the white hacker communities are, are better fund. We have much more, uh, a bigger problem, because we have to close all the security vectors in order to protect against the hackers, which needs only one time to succeed in their operations. So is in a word of recommendation, come check uh, Checkpoint uh, opening careers if you are really interested in opening into this path of exploitation. So how do a hacker start? And I usually get this question of what's the underground? People are talking about special configurations of how to get into uh, communities, but here's uh, a sample of a hacker community which, is, uh, which has been a while open. Its databases are, are safely secured and when uh, law enforcement try to take these sites down, they can reoperate it under a different name with the same user community, the same data in uh, no time. So this is the hacker forms and hackers, or actually script kiddies are grouping them together as a, in a cyber community. Each one is uh, performing his own unique uh, knowledge. They have a guru or more uh, ma master hacker which, which knows exactly how to hack, and they uh, start as apprentices, learn from his skills, etc. And the most common technique these days is to sell your services uh, uh, as a, in a continuum fee, not uh, just giving everything together, but sell it as a service which you have to pay again and again. So people g uh, get into these forums, but and usually people look at them as script kiddies and not as the hackers. Well, they aren't really the most powerful people, but this is the 
first step into these communities. And, and these guys here in this picture represent uh, well why I do regard them as important people. As, as back in the 80s, there were su such uh, physical forums for hackers or so, script kiddies, or whoever's trying to get into knowledge of hacking, of getting more knowledge of uh, security, IT, etc. And these guys here developed uh, using the Captain Crunch exploit. It was known back in the days that uh, using a, a prize from the Captain Crunch serials, you could have uh, whistled your way into making uh, long distances calls. And these guys uh, created a box from it, they call it Blue Box. And they allowed other people to monetize and, and, and sold this service as, as a free long distance service box. Eventually, they had to stop their business once they got uh, um, uh, uh, guns pulled at and they were asked to give away their product. And they kind of said, OK, I'm, we're getting out of this business. And they moved to a next, a very successful business. Anyone knows what, what's the entrepreneur they did next. Okay, so this is uh, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak and the next uh, uh, entrepreneurship they did or the next product was the Apple One. So these people start, it's a good place to start and accumulate knowledge, but you have to know to stop and not to get to the dark side, as we call it, and, and think that you can monetize for free and will not get caught. Um, so how, how do you, the first step to start in these communities? Uh, um, I, I would take a common knowledge. You, usually people have this uh, uh, trust enabling system. Some people you see they have a good character for, for fraud or con artists that they give you the trust and what we call uh, social engineering. They, they uh, persuade you to do uh, something you wouldn't normally do, an action you would think is uh, wrong, but under their impression or the right impression, you do it. And another known uh, hacker or not hacker would social engineer, the greatest social engineer in all times, the, uh, Kevin Mitnick, was uh, al al say, always say there's, there's no patch for, for the problem between the, the screen and the chair, okay? But I actually don't really like this, this uh, uh, comment or quote, I would say there's no patch for trust. If you can build the right level of trust and the internet has no right path to go through, so if Google, for example, asks you buy a new uh, key and enable this new feature for your cloud services and the hackers fastly adapt to this question and they send you an email saying, okay, here's a link to buy this uh, this key, or here's your extra security measures for your Gmail uh, inbox. And you click it, and you think it comes from Google, or you think it comes from your bank account, but it doesn't. It comes from the hacker control site who makes you think this is the legit path. So educating about, uh, about uh, security control is very important, but hackers are very familiar with uh, different social engineering techniques in order to bypass it. They just, you just have to make sure Google has the safe browsing ability uh, indeed, and I'll talk about good advancement in Chrome browsers that allowed uh, different uh, protections in, in uh, security controls. Um, and as I said, this talk is about how to get you from a newbie, someone that came from uh, not a tech savvy, not an IT figure, but how you can make yourself build your own funnel of infection and start monetizing or how easy it is. So for social engineering, there's no need to come with, other than a, a good understanding of the human mind, you can use free kits or free tools that generate these phishing sites uh, in a click. And even a, a white hat uh, tools are available today to control your campaigns and uh, to send different uh, spam emails. You can think of, uh, about spam filters, as, as the uh, previous speaker said. It knows what you're about to get. And it will 
the, the, st the spam filters, due to their understanding, will remove the files that you're not expected to get. But think of it in a, in attacker, as an attacker, it means that eventually the file that will get in will be something similar, already filtered, and similar to what you usually would do. So if a spam does get in, it's usually very dangerous. And uh, the, about the numbers uh, of 0.01% uh, of, of uh, mail being uh, uh, getting in is, uh, is spam, think about it, it means one in every uh, 10,000 emails is, is, a, is a spam emails. It means in your organization there's probably more than 10,000 emails getting in every day, so one of them being phishing in a very elaborate one might be a hard problem to persist. Uh, we see a very interesting um, change this year in the US elections, and even now in the, uh, I, heard, I read today about the change of uh, 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 Senpon, I think, a group, it's called APT28, it has many different uh, names attached to it, but they moved from espionage campaigns into propaganda, into changing uh, the, the news, giving fake news, hacking into users, or, or like the Democratic Republic, like uh, Hillary Clinton emails and publishing them out. And, and these guys have really important effect on the US election, and they, the same group is attacking many different countries, and we should expect this kind of behavior to be the common the, the common uh, normal behavior in campaigns, the common political, um, uh, dangerous uh, political activity we should see in all our elections, and we have to make sure we know what's truth and what's not. Uh, Julian Assange said a 14-year-old could have do, do, done this attack using a phishing email, and the campaign itself really looks like, in not, not a very elaborate one, like a fact solution, the, phishing, the spear phishing email is a fact solution, but it, has, uh, it asks for a pin code or the file itself is encrypted and you have to provide a, a password in order to open the file, meaning it, it makes it hard to traditional antiviruses to, to find these files as it's encrypted, etc. So you, they, they do it that fast. You, we can see it's a worldwide infrastructure attacking. It's similar like a new Cold War. Okay, you're not sure who's attacking who. There's lots of efforts in, uh, in um, obfuscating your tracks and giving false intelligence. You're not sure anymore who's, who's the attacker. Um, let's say you, we're back to business as hackers, we want to uh, make money, and now we want to start scaling up. How, how do we scale up? And usually people think it's hard to find your targets in masses. But here's a Google search I did um, for email lists. And indeed, the, thing, the very thing you see, get is a site with lists of emails of already targeted CEOs, or the doctors or boat owners that might have more money in their bank account in order for you to, uh, in fact, uh, get the, get, get, and get the money out, transfer it into your, your control attack and start mulling the attack out. There's also, um, there's also in the forums you can buy specific targets. For example, for 10,000 clicks you can you can buy traffic from infected sites using JavaScript that are redirecting the attackers onto your site or your, the attacker control site and buy directly this uh, traffic. Or so, uh, through malvertising or, or uh, infected sites. An important note is about the, the price. Okay, this, it's 100 uh, US dollars for 10,000 hits you have 10% or 1% today of uh, successful infections or, uh, for exploiting this uh, traffic, and the building your uh, the ROI or, or your cash flow to have a good return on investment is very important to hackers in order not to get out of business and have uh, um, 
or losing your income or paying more than the, what, what you get out of it. Uh, this is another service over in the underground where you can see uh, a similar service to VirusTotal, but instead of uh, sharing the, the malware to all the antivirus vendors, they keep in the malware in-house, they don't distribute it, uh, and then you, you, are, you know that the file isn't detected anymore. This is also offered as a service. Again, a hacker that knows how to obfuscate files, sell this as a service to script kiddies that start to uh, share it or, uh, or scale it up. And then they, ask, they explain to you uh, more why it's important to buy to, into their non-freemium services, etc. And an important note is that, uh, that Wikileaks just published uh, Vault 7 containing uh, weapons from the CIA or cyber weapons from the CIA to obfuscate files like this method. But if you think about, about it, cybersecurity is knowledge. And knowledge as opposed to physical weapons like bombs, it does not disintegrate when exploding or on impact. So every time the, the governments, they deal with these security weapons, hackers can take him, they can take these techniques and put it in use into their, in, into their environment or their service. And they do it really quick. And you should, as an enterprise, protect yourself much fast, faster than what you think and with uh, more, more uh, robust ways as because you're not just dealing with hackers, you're also dealing with government-grade uh, weapons and attacks. The, the, the part about... Uh, I'll run through this part of, of again, another, another chain in our... Uh, a funnel of creating infections and monetizing. This is exploit kits. You can again buy this service. It, it checks, it, it, uh, it uh, connects to other services and uh, makes sure that the file is not detected. It gives you all the data, etc., on your infections. Um, you can choose different uh, geolocations for different attacks or, uh, or targets you, you control. For example, you want to monetize more and give a, a, a higher ransom fee in specific uh, countries, you can do that, etc., and, and run through your campaign. And you have all the infrastructure, etc., uh, for, for a certain fee as a service. It even checks for a fully undetected FUD, fully undetected uh, exploit, so we make sure that your exploit are still undetected by antiviruses or traditional antiviruses vendors as we've seen in the previous uh, samples. But this is important to note that, the, that Google, the, person, the speaker before me noted about, about the importance of updating your software. So we, this is data we got from a control panel or master control panel of exploit kit, and you can see that all the versions of browser were much more easily infected using the same techniques because of they are using known uh, vulnerable versions of these browsers. And the auto-update features of Chrome and uh, in Internet Edge, uh, Internet Explorer Edge, to auto-update their plugins are doing a good, a good job in stopping this uh, ex exploit from being mass scale as we saw the black hole back in uh, two, three or four years ago. But the attackers are moving on. What they're doing is now is uh, back to social engineering. And if you take the parable of a person, if you teach a person to, f to uh, if you give a person a fish, he will eat for a day. If you teach him to fish, he will, um, he will have, a, uh, he will be able to, uh, to fish for life or have uh, entered your data uh, for life. And that's true also for social uh, uh, attacks, and, and that's how attackers are going back to these methods of, of social engineering, back to macroactivity, where they ask the user, this is from the Loki campaign, they ask the attacker to click enable on the security macro, which basically means do whatever you want on my machines. So we're back to social engineering. Again, this is come as a service. 
Again, it's easily obfuscated. As you see, the VB scripts are much easily uh, uh, obfuscated these days. How, how do we monetize? And here's the, the last part, and I'll run through it, is how do we monetize? This is a, this is a, a advertisement we saw from a, from a server a ransomware. You see they get, a, a person running this campaign got uh, 35,000 US dollars in two months of work from 14,000 install. It means it has a lot of impact. It destroyed 14,000 uh, machine data sources for these 160 users that eventually paid. The service is, again comes as a service. If you, have, if you think about this, is kind of elaborated service ransomware. You have to give uh, customer support. You have to have a good brand. You have to uh, uh, be up in the, in the Tor uh, command controls to have uh, in the underground command controls always up in order to allow the users to decrypt their data. And the brand is very important. If people think that paying you will not get their data back, the whole operation is compromised and you will probably lose your incomes. This is how you look. You can see that going to the site, it's not easy to a uh, non-tech savvy person. So the support has to be very uh, uh, elaborated in, in many different uh, languages, etc. Uh, the payment method in these campaigns are by revenue share, where part of the income goes to the creator of the service and 40% and goes to the attacker control. So there's no payment for the services, gets it easy, easy up and running. Um, so it's easy to do. It's now you can run and build your own funnel with it. So I said, uh, don't go do it. Um, uh, the money is better in uh, uh, SEs as uh, SEs or uh, security engineers, etc. Do come send us your CVs. We do have at Checkpoint our Sandbox uh, solution suite against um, most of the all of the attacks I counted here. And come see us in, uh, in our checkpoint booth right after the session in the coffee break. I thank you very much for your time. And uh, come see me soon.